a lot of rocks in this field. I feel like I should do something with them. My name is Stan Hurd, and I'm a, an artist, a landscape artist, earthworks artist. I've been creating images uh, on uh, farm fields and other places for, gee, many, 40 years, something like that. You know, I went to Wichita State on an art scholarship back in 1968 and wanted to be an avant-garde abstract expressionist and worked very hard at it for years and, and it just wasn't really me. So I, so I, at one point I went back to my roots. I went to Dodge City to uh, watch my brother play football. He went to college there and that's when on, in an airplane flight I first looked down and went, oh my God, I could do something in the ground, and it took four years to do the first piece, and, uh, and then I've been trying to perfect it ever since. So uh, I had an incredible call uh, last year about the possibility of um, doing something with the, uh, with the museum here in Minneapolis. And, Obviously, when an artist hears something like that, they get pretty excited. And I even became more excited when I realized the possibilities of creating something in the ground with probably one of my favorite artists in the world, which is Vincent van Gogh. We're going to try to create the piece on uh, probably about one acre and uh, made out of all kinds of materials just off the airport where planes will land so that everybody on the left side of the aircraft will be able to look out and see our our Van Gogh. I've always had a fascination with Van Gogh and, and he was one of the artists whose stories I connected with really early. So when I walk in here and I see this painting, the first thing I look at is, oh, let's see what plants and what soil and what mulch and what things might I pull into this. You know, we're out here on the field as you see the big airplanes coming in over uh, Yankee Doodle and Dodd here. Uh, this field's about, I guess, four acres and I'm on about an acre and a half of it. So uh, we're on the campus of uh, Thomson Reuter and we are standing right in the base of, of this. You can see this is darker, so I'm planting these kind of more verdant green plants. Everything, you know, in Van Gogh's stroke were slashes of color. The amazing thing about Van Gogh's painting is there's not a single straight line in the whole canvas. Everything is organic and curved and flowing and it's like a pulse. I'm just amazed that after months of looking at one painting that I continue to, to discover things in it. There are actually times when I just kind of set out here and just think I'm setting in Van Gogh. It hit me the other day that uh, I was working on this one tree back here. It was just that connection. Everything is just this snake-like serpentine flow of things. Well, I think this is what Van Gogh saw. I mean, he just, everything was moving for him. Everything was moving and everything moved together. When he wrote Theo on this particular painting, and he said, note how the sun dances in the treetops. And you look here and there's the sun dancing in the treetops. You know, when I'm here, I don't see bare ground and, and mulch and pots. I just, I see the painting. 